Welcome to Introduction to Java Programming. Today's episode, we'll look at a couple of examples. Example of repeat. And first, we'll write the code for the hard way. Like if we have to repeat something again and again, what is the hard way of doing that? So here we will print some message and we will do it a couple of times. And uh, we actually don't know when we are doing things like that, how many times we pasted it's not verbose at all it doesn't tell us we have to count the lines so the smart way could be we just define a counter and use our while loop which we learned in the previous uh, video so if count is less than 10 we gonna uh, print the message whatever message we want and uh, this loop will run 0 to 9 which is actually 10 times this loop will run so we can type any message now from this code we can understand like how many time it will run and um, it's very clear you don't have to count at all uh, it's in front of you let's run the program and see what is the output of this program it's running okay and here we can see the output Oh, it's it's stuck it's gone in infinite loop why can you guess why it's an infinite loop a mm, uh, lot of messages lot of messages lot of messages so we need to fix this program for these many messages it was an infinite loop it was keep printing and keep on going because we haven't updated the counter so we have to update the counter okay and uh, now this program halts on exactly after running 10 iterations 10 times this program runs and then it halt the loop okay so uh, when we do such bulk work or repeat something again and again it's really hard to make the changes um, like there, there could be 20 lines for one one thing just only and uh, here in this program we are taking the simple example we have just one instruction which we updating uh, uh, several times and while updating we may miss something or add extra thing can can you see here or we missed that because it, these were a lot of changes i have to do and sometime I have repeated as well so let's fix it and we need to find all those places where it was problem and why should we do this redundant work because we know this is the same thing because we never knew about the loops that's why we used to do it in this way okay still there is a problem okay I have fixed it but I created another bug in the program so uh, the code should be once like we don't have to repeat ourselves here we have made a lot of repetition and we may fix a bug in one place at one place but it might exist other places but if we look at the example of the loop where we just write this code only once and we can see here it's really simple to make one change and just run the loop it will automatically print this thing 10 times so one change it's updated and it's easy to debug it's easy to find out uh, the the problem in the code and it's really easy to fix it and this is just one line so let's look at the example two pause the video and uh, write the code keep sleeping until 9 am and then wake up that's the example we discussed in the previous slide so write the code now okay so first of all we need to have the state of sleeping is true so that we can run the loop until we are uh, so if we are sleeping we gonna print the message like um, and also and also in the start this will be true because we just initialize it with two so we can print a message I'm sleeping uh, while this variable is true and um, 
we have to define the time so let's start time at 1 a.m uh, <clears throat> so that we can print uh, this as well i will keep incrementing the time and if the time is equal to or maybe yeah let's print the time and if time is um, greater than equal to 9 then just uh, sleeping is equal to false which means that we are not uh, anymore in the sleeping state so the loop will break and we'll print the message wake up here we can see sleeping one two three seven eight till eight am we see and as soon as uh, the time become nine with this plus plus so this condition was true and we said sleeping is equal to false and this loop ends like after checking here and then we just print the message wake up okay example 3 uh, pause the video and write the code count one time so just pause the video and write the code yourself okay now we gonna write the code for count one and the count of less than or equal to 10 then thus print the counting and that's really simple program we have to increment the count as well so that it does not get stuck in infinite loop let's run the program and yeah it's one to ten okay pause the video and write the code punishment say i am sorry if there are student in class this is also an example we discussed in previous class so you, you should pause it and write the code first so we're gonna check if uh, there are students in the class so we're gonna run this loop uh, like i'm sorry and uh, that would be the message if there are students so if student is greater than zero but how much student would be in the class initially okay we have defined here zero it should be a bigger number like 10 10 students in the class and we decrement the students so on each iteration one student will leave the class or student will decrease one by one so that's uh, pretty much about this program let's run it and yeah okay so here we can see i'm sorry message and let's print how many students were there when we were saying this message at a particular iteration okay so initially there were 10 then 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and no one and that's when the loop halted okay so pause the video and write this program keep playing songs until play button is on and playlist is not end again this is the previous example pause here and write your code yourself so let's uh, define the button uh, state uh, i guess we should take a boolean variable which would uh, be is playing like the state uh, and then we create a list of songs like this is this is our basically playlist so we're gonna create array list we discussed this uh, uh, in in episode i guess uh, 20 yeah i guess in episode 20 we discuss about the playlist so we're gonna add a couple of songs uh, in this list uh, in this array list uh, luckily these both are same word like playlist or array list the purpose is same uh, you just add uh, multiple things in your list in java it's array list and uh, uh, and over there there would be 
playlist when when you are playing the media so we need to know where which song is playing currently so we have to keep the index of the song like which whichever is that one and if the index is less than the the list of the song like whatever is the size so if the index is less than that keep running this loop another condition is playing true as well so we'll say we are playing uh, a particular song like song we know that how to get an index a, an element at a specific index in array list so we gonna each iteration we gonna increment index and uh, now we just say all songs are played when the loop breaks so it should print all the songs one by one so hello waka waka twinkle twinkle only you and havana okay so we need to simulate somehow like the user mood changes and when his mood changes he may stop uh, playing all these songs so base we know that how can we have a mood or something randomly select so we going to use a random uh, we we going to generate or select the mood randomly so we previously discussed how we can do a random number here we can select the next boolean so here it will randomly choose true or false uh in on each iteration so every time this loop run it will decide randomly and if it says all playing is playing false then this loop will halt it doesn't matter if songs all the list is played or not but for us um, we will just stop because the playing is stopped the user has press the stop button here in this example instead of user action we are simulating this with a random decision randomly selecting so <clears throat> we going to print here some uh, thing like playing state and if we were reached to the end or not so if the index is equal to the size of the song that mean we are reached uh, at the end so let's Uh, <clears throat> move it to a variable so that we understand like what is happening here so is finished is equal to uh, the the statement so it will print uh, if it's played or the end is reached or not let's run this and yeah so hello and waka waka two songs were played and then play was paused like play is false so that break the loop and we haven't reached the end as well so uh, if we run again in second time it's just playing false run again and this time it played three songs okay run again and this time it played only one song this is just randomly selecting true false okay now this time it played all the five songs because randomly it never picked uh, finish so that's pretty much about uh, this example uh, thank you so much for watching please share and subscribe thank you